We implode shopped a little today. Now look what we got from Tractor Supply. Okay, now all we do is wait for three more days and we see what eggs hatch. This morning, I was getting a bowl, bowl, bowl for breakfast and there was a chickie in here. And now there's a lot of chickies in here. Which ones? What? I meant chicken eggs. Chickens are hatching first? Yeah, chickens. Let me see, please. Two chickens. Look, how many are in there? There's um, a black one. I think there's like Oh, I see four so one. far. Neat. I wonder if there's any quail. It's kind of hard to see because when they start hatching, it's very humid. That's a day early. <laughs> Haley's discovery has, is awesome. We see a few more pips. And the divider seems to be working very well. There's another pip right there. And she's hatching in it. How about me? So another one over here. Neat! Cute. Looks like we have one yellow one and three black ones so far. No, the yellow one and black one. No ducks yet. No bantam chickens yet and no quail yet. We implo shopped a little today. Now, look what we got from Tractor Supply. Bum, bum, ba, 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 ba. For Haley's birthday and one for Emmett because he just lost his special balloon. So, yeah, we got these guys and chick feed. We got four of them. Nuts. What do you think about that? What do you think about losing your balloon? Was it sad? Tell me with words. Was it sad? Bye bye. Yeah, it flew off into the sunset. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> what did we buy? Say guineas. He has chocolate all over his face. I gave him a Reese's take five. He really got into it. <laughs> and there's like a whole bunch of chocolate all over his cup. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think about getting the guineas? Papa! Do you like the guineas? Yeah? Say yeah. Yeah, Emmett. A new thing that he does is gargles. He gargles. Are you gonna gargle? <laughs> uh, do that. Uh, see? That is so funny. <laughs> How many thing chicks do you think have so far? Give your guesses. I think Five patch. Is it doing it again? <laughs> Here, open 
it up so I can get a good view. They're so cute. They kind of look like giant quail. All right. Let's go give them to Haley. Gotten that much rain in Woodruff ever. Ryan did a great job weed eating and we have some grass growing. We're so excited about that. One out, Oreo. Come over here, Kaden. Birthday present. What is it? Hand it over, Kaden. What is it? Give it to her. Yeah, excuse me, Hannah. for Emmett because she's going to be so away. Aren't they so cute? Yeah. Yeah. Was it sad? Was it cute for Emmett? Um, no. What are you going to name your chicky? Um, Mom bought some guineas. For you. Three of them for Haley and one for Emmett. And she's got some feed and they got some water. This is mommy with her feed. And these are the guineas. Emma hasn't named it yet and Haley hasn't named hers yet. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Goodbye. All right, let's. Today is hatch day and you can see most of the chickens have hatched. We have a few more zipping. And let me see if I can find any pipping. There's one pipping right there. And we have a duck pipping. We actually have two ducks pipping. So that first one in the corner and this second one is right here. And no bantam chicks yet, and no quail yet, which is surprising to me because the bantam and the quail usually hatch quickly. Haley has a theory. She thinks that the chicken eggs that I put in had been getting sat on by a mother chick, which it might be true. These chicken eggs might have developed faster because a mother hen might have sat on a few of them and that's why they're hatching faster. They are so cute, all different colors. They have yellows, blacks, and I even see one that's a little bit orange and brown. And then there's a yellow one right here. Can't wait to get them out, but I've gotta leave the incubator closed. So it's been maybe 18 hours since these guys hatched. Now they should be fine for 48 hours without any food because they still have their, they're absorbing their yolk sacs. So I'll turn that light off because they seem to do better with the light off. It kind of is more like being under a mother hen when the light is turned off. It looks pretty cool when they're zipping, you can see. They get pretty tired, and it looks like you want to help them, but it's really important that they get out of there themselves. The humidity is at 70% right now. That's a little lower than, than it has been. It's been up in the 80s. It's been at 85% to 90%. When they start hatching, the humidity raises a lot in the incubator because of all the, how wet they are when they hatch. But it's very good for them to get out of their egg on their own. It helps them become really strong little chicks.
I mean, ducks hatch. They're so clumsy and cute. Can't wait to see when these two hatch. I'm super happy with the hatch so far. They all look so cute sleeping. This is how they would be under their mother hen if a mother hen had hatched them. They would be resting until she decided to stand up and walk around. I have never raised guinea before. I was reading that they need super, super dry conditions for the first couple of weeks. So making sure to keep this straw dry is going to be very important. So far our experiment is going really well. We have I think about 13 chicks hatch chickens and we have four ducks that are pipped. It's getting super crowded in there so unfortunately I think I'm going to have to open the incubator and grab the chicks out that we have hatched so far. So I'm going to put them in this. We got the guineas yesterday and we got them in this box. So I'm going to use this tractor supply box to put the chicks in. That way I can transport them easier. All right, I'm gonna do this as quickly as I can. <laughs> There's the three that I decided to put back in. And here's all of the little cuties that are ready to go to a brooder. Oh, they're so cute. And that just washes it out nice and easy. And then fill that up. Dump that out first though and then fill it up. are so cute. Okay. Let me see. They're six dollars. Let's get you cookies instead. Which donut do you want, Haley? There's sprinkles. There's sprinkles. There's long ones. Haley gets to choose first. <laughs> what kind do you want? Maple icing sprinkles.
ended up with three ducklings from our hatch and 14 chickens. We purchased four guineas at Tractor Supply that they're all doing really, really good. And I feel like that was a successful hatch. We just barely cleaned out their water dishes, but as you can see, they already made it dirty again. These ducks are so cute though. I think ducklings are my favorite baby animals. They're adorable. I don't know, chickens are really cute too. Guineas are really interesting looking. And yeah, they're living in Caden's room right now. They stink. <laughs> they have a shed. Well, they'll be out soon. It's pretty warm. It's raining. They're all playing Legos. Haley has a special day tomorrow. Because you won't play for anything but my weapon. You have hay in your hair. She has A in her hair. <laughs> I'm not sure why the quail eggs didn't hatch. Maybe none of them were fertilized. I know that some of our hens, our quail hens, that's what you call female quail, they were feeling really stressed because we had too many males. So we did cull. I know it's really sad to talk about culling, but we culled, um, a lot of our males. So now there's only one male on each side and the hens look to be doing a lot better. They look healthier. So maybe I will try just a quail hatch very soon. So we were a little bummed that no quail hatched but I think there were other factors like maybe the males weren't fertilizing the hens like they should have because there were so many of them. Maybe they're just too young. Um, these were the quail that hatched in December so maybe they're just too young to have fertile eggs. I don't know if you have any more information on quail, we would like to hear it. And we're all ears for any advice. All right, I wanna show you this because you can see it in the frame a little bit. I purchased this at Tractor Supply. We haven't really announced it, but we are going to be doing a small remodel of our kitchen. I almost dropped it. I don't want to drop it. So we're going to be doing a small remodel and I saw this at Tractor Supply and I thought it looked really cute and I really liked the design and that it's the United States and I'm just really excited to kind of do a farm themed kitchen. So stay tuned. We're excited. If you've noticed in some of our other videos like some of the paint is peeling off our walls just you know day to day stuff that happens. We've lived in this home for eight years now and we haven't done any renovations on the inside. It was pretty fairly redone when we bought it um, back in 2014, but we've lived in it for eight years now and it's definitely well lived in. So I'm getting really excited to do some kitchen updates and bring you along for that. And we've done a lot to the outside of the property, but we just haven't done much to the inside. Well, we we painted the kids' rooms the colors they wanted it, but we didn't do, we haven't done anything else to any of our walls or anything like that. So stay tuned for that. I'll show you this one more time. Isn't it cute? You should comment down below what state you live in. I love to see that, to see where everybody is from. And we will talk to you later. That's in the film right now. They're good. You want me to stop and restart?